Aloha, Dr. Louis Primavera again for Primavera Aquaponics LLC, the makers of all kinds of aquaponic units. I showed you previously the vertical veggie unit, holds 76 full-size plants, and the living fence, and that can be con constructed any size or width that you want, and it's just the fish water going through that, uh, fish, uh, the uh, living fence, the uh, vinyl fence post. Here we have the economical system, and what's fantastic about this system is that we have a cinder bed. And over here is a cinder bed, and you can see our tomato plant forest over here, the grape tomatoes. We also over here have collard greens, eggplant. I'm cooking up the eggplant tonight. It's oh, no, delicious, very good. And sweet potato, spring beans, all kinds of stuff. What we do is we put the fish tank at the highest part of the system. Fish are in here, tilapia fish. There's about a dozen fish in here. I feed them a couple times a day, real easy maintenance. And the water will go to the cinder bed, and then the cinder bed water will come down to our sump area down here, where we have a bell siphon, a big one, industrial strength here. And the water will come in here, and here we have a pump that pumps the water up the staircase here, which is our greens. We have all kinds of lettuce, bok choy. Here we have purple basil here growing, um, celery, there's some nice, I think this is fennel. Oh yeah, liquid taste. Mmm, that's good. So the water circulates down here, gets aeration for the fish. So this is about 16 feet long. We can make this any size that you want. And we can grow anything in here. We can grow the, the the um, green leafy vegetables, we can grow the large plants like tomatoes, collard greens, spinach, whatever, eggplant. And if you put the sand beds with it, I showed you the sand beds earlier, put the sand beds with it, we can get carrots, beets, onions, and leeks. So it's amazing, you can grow anything, and you're not growing it in the soil, you don't have to bend over weeding or anything like that. And it's just amazing. And it's really magical the way. You could just use the fish waste and the bacteria to have enough um, nutrients for the plants. Join us in the world of urban agriculture, small space, using vertical height for the pumping of the water. Fantastic.